Hello, everyone, and welcome to the chat right here on Channel 21. I'm Joe Rack. I'm Kathleen Junkerman. I'm Pat Moraine. I'm James Coffey. And Alex is off today, and joining us for the entire show is Central Regional student Pat Moraine. Nice Woo! to have you here, Pat. Thanks. It's fun to be here. Yeah. So great having you. Yeah, that's what everyone says. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Pat, don't get comfortable. You're not the first guest. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. Well, you guys, were, you guys were in the play together, Crazy for You, right? Yes. Yep. And uh, mm -hmm. what was it like working together? Pat, James? Yeah, well, Pat and I were in the play. And it was, yes. um, yeah. It was a fun time. I loved the play. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, it was a really fun play. James, you yeah. did a great job Thank in your lead. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Four, we had the one night because of snow. Yes, right. so got pushed back. Right. I mean, Even we made it up snow now in the summertime. That's so weird it's, saying it. Yeah, yeah I know. and Ew. it feels summer out. It's, it does. It's it, spring. It does feel it feels summer. Feels... Now, Pat, uh, since you're the guest host, just a quick question for you. Do you know what you want to do when you grow up? I want to become a cop. Do you? Yeah, oh, a detective. Okay. Oh wow, that's awesome. I didn't I know would, that about you. I would you. never be able to do that. Yeah, me no. either. Yeah, I give you a lot of credit. Yeah, yeah. me too. It's Kathleen, you got a new hairdo there, new yes, color? Yes, oh, well, blonde. I didn't Thank know we you. were going on that topic today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just yeah. breezing you by. You got to showcase the new do. We're yeah. just driving by it. Yeah. Get a little, ooh, ooh. A little hair cam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now this, don't, don't start crying, but today, this is our last show here in the studio. Uh, wow. The next time you will see us, we will be live on stage for the chat live, so I'm make sure you all go. And, just and then I just started. And your yeah, first day here, and that's it, Pat. We're sorry. <laughs> sorry, you didn't uh, make the cut. Yeah. Check, make sure everyone check our Facebook page for the date, because we can't say the date yet. But just make sure you check our Facebook page for that, and that's it. So after today, no more here, I'm one more show. To, yeah. Can I'm you believe so it's all over already? I know. I know. Seem, like, end of it feels like yesterday. Year. You, me, Miss Mango, we were all over there at her desk talking about just, starting this. And then you know, we ran out to Miss Fisher, we got the sign, and now it's like, wow, last recording. Yeah. I know. Just flies crazy. by. And I just, I want to thank all of us, everyone, our crew, our host, everyone that has been a part of the show, because it's yeah. really been yeah. fantastic. And we couldn't have done it without every single person that helps out. Yeah. So we're really happy. It's been a great experience. It really yeah. has. Yeah. We've all learned a lot. Yeah. yeah. All right, but no tears yet. We still have one <laughs> more we show have to live, go. and I am so excited. Yeah, I'm yes. so excited live. to go live. Anything can happen live. This is yeah. going to be yeah. great. <laughs> Anything can happen great or a lot of mess ups. Yeah, hey, no. Which is Jinx terrifying. Is there, Kathleen. Yeah. I'm scared, but you I'll should. be okay. We'll be all right. I do this for a living. We're going to, we're going to. Yeah, gonna sure. This is our, I it's mean, our we, profession. Now. On this yeah. We've had a live studio audience before. One time we had like. Now we're going to be in the auditorium. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be something. All right, well, let's start Hot Topics, everybody. Starting with the most recent scandal going on, the deflate gate, Tom Brady's deflate gate. Texts were found on Tom Brady's phone saying that he knew the footballs were deflated. He was going up against a team that would decide who's going in the Super Bowl, Patriots. Um, and it was released that he knew that the ball was deflated after all this time. So for this, Tom Brady has been suspended for the first four games of the new NFL season this September. He was fined a million dollars. So the real question is, what do you all think? And do you think that more actions should be taken on this? Yeah. Agreed. Definitely. Yeah. I don't think that the first four games, not only is, does that serve as enough punishment, but are the first four games even really that important to Tom Brady? Especially to the Patriots, because the Patriots are a huge competitor during yeah. that season. And they, as long as they get into the playoffs, they're dangerous in the playoffs. So as long as they get into the playoffs, which you need at least eight games to win. Right. You're in, yeah. and, and that's when the Patriots are probably the most dangerous. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that four games, I don't think that will hurt him. A million dollars certainly won't hurt him. No, but I think I think that the million dollars is going to hurt him at all, but I think the four games may have a little impact on him. You know, He's going to be out, wanting to be out there playing, and I think four games is good. I think five games takes a little too far. I mean, this is like kind of his second, I guess you could say, like conviction. Offense, I don't know, conviction, yeah. but um, yeah, offense, but... Uh, because when they had the, they used the cameras. But I, I think four games is definitely good for him because that's four games that he can't be doing what he loves. Yeah, yeah. See, and that's four yeah. games taking away from him yeah. making his team a better team. I, I think that the four games serves well. Mm -hmm. But I think that besides the four games and the million dollars, there should be something else. Well, I think it should you, be pulled. I yeah. think there should be more money. Well, I think that money should go up a little bit. I think so too. If he has any dollars, football like, player that's ever been so injured, that was on the sidelines at center, like I've definitely, I've played football when I was in Pop Warner. When you watch and you just watch the team winning and or losing without you, knowing that you could either make a difference or try to help in any way, shape, or form you can, especially the first four games of the season. I don't know Tom Brady it, personally, but I don't know if he's making a major deal because 
of how powerful he is in the football world and how much money he's made. And I saw a funny clip. They were saying uh, what he did, and then they showed like his house, his big house, and his beautiful wife and his kids. And they're like, I don't think he's worried. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I think there should be more action yeah. taken. Not only on because of the text. I mean, like every quarterback knows that when they have the ball in their hand, that it's not just right. You know when the ball is right. You know when the ball is deflated. So it's not about the text. It's yeah. about you know. He had that ball in his hand during the game. He, if he didn't know anything about it, which he said in the beginning. He did say that in the beginning. He did. But, shouldn't, yeah. but shouldn't the refs have to check the balls before the game? They do. They check I it think, before the game I and in the half time. So why didn't the ref know? Mm. Uh, they said that he did it during the game, the, uh, oh, during so the final quarters of the game, the, the uh, three and four. Oh, really? So I think Tom Brady's a little end. sly cat. I don't think he was, gonna, yeah. I don't they think check he was getting away yeah. with that. Right. Yeah. Well, trickster. Yeah. But... I Even think, the center should have known, though. The guy who hikes the ball to Tom Brady, he knew sh something should have been up. Because, like I said, you could feel that change. But in the right. dark, if you threw a bunch of footballs in the room and, and turned the light off, if you're a football player, can you tell? You can. Um, that the feeling. Amount? Yeah, that's that exactly feeling, what I'm saying. Uh, the, yeah. the softness of you could definitely feel the difference between when a ball is fully pumped up and, and regulation style, especially since he plays with it all year round. Yeah. Yeah. And a ball that's just been deflated. Yeah, something smells fishy to me. One thing we, I wanted to just bring up is that he basically lied, and not just him, a, a lot of celebrities, a lot of people do it. They think they can lie and get away with it, and it's more of denial, 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 and then the truth comes out and they turn out to be liars. So what do you think about, I guess, lying? I mean, what do you think about all these people that lie? I think people tell more lies a day than they tell truth. I Absolutely. agree with that. hundred percent true. <laughs> yeah, there's a and lot of... For all we know, your name isn't James. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> <laughs> um, we just wa actually uh, did a thing in psychology yes, on uh, how to spot a liar, and uh, a lot of the a lot of the things people do when they lie, the way their eyes move, but also just the way that they present themselves. I think it's really interesting if you were to watch any interviews of Tom Brady or anyone. A lot of people would be able to tell, like this woman who did the whole uh, TED talk on lying. You could easily spot if he's lying. And I know the, the body language and just like the way they word themselves, it's really interesting to see how the body reacts and how humans interact with the public or other people when they are lying. I think that's a really interesting thing about lying. Although yeah. we do have actors who are yeah. very, who, like who you. know. Again, who, but, you might yeah. be, your name might not even be Patrick. Okay. Yeah. 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 Deny, deny, deny. Yeah. Yeah. First yeah. day is already James? cutting me off. Um, <laughs> Sorry. I, we, uh, Sorry. We watched the video of Bill Clinton when he was had his whole thing with his yeah. affair. Yeah, that's right. And that's another the lady example. on the TED Talk made us, we watched it, and then she said, did you notice how he acted? And I was sitting in the back of the class, and I was like, mm, acted like Bill Clinton acted. And then when she, once she dissected it, it I was, was like, It was crazy. Wow. Just like word choice and yeah. specific like, things that people say. The way say. he would move his arm. Yeah. Or, yeah, it was or, crazy. Or like, I did not. When people yeah. lie, they tend to speak more formally. And it's really, it's really insane to see, like, just to dissect what people say and how they move and how they act to tell if they're lying or not. I think it's a really interesting yeah. thing. Very true. I, I wonder if any, like, of his interviews or, like, Conferences have yeah. been like dissected and really like thoroughly looked at to see his body language and how he acts in front of the camera. Yeah. But people deny, deny, deny. I would have this much more respect for someone like Tom Brady, Bill Clinton, ex all these examples. To fess up. That they said it in, to begin with. Yes, I made a mistake. Yes, I did this. Instead of deny, deny, yeah. deny. And yeah. then it comes out, and then they look worse. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, and Especially that's why they don't do interviews, that yeah. they hide, and people, you know, they don't. Especially when the evidence is so evident against them, like how it was in the Tom Brady, where they had texts showing that he lied. Right. I, I forgot to mention it before. You know, with these texts and everything, and even remember a few months ago we talked about the Sony hacking? Mm -hmm. If you don't want it out there, do not write it in a text oh, or a no. Facebook Social or a tweet or, or an anything, Instagram yeah. or nothing. Yeah. Because it will show up, whether you're a celebrity, whether you're a nobody. If you're lying or if you don't want something out or you're, you're even text, you just do not do that. Right. I think that's I common think, sense. Like something that Tom Brady should think about is people will respect him a lot more if he just you know, said it from the beginning, yeah, I did it. I did. Exactly. Yeah. I just yeah. live with it. I that did. much. Not a lot, but no. that much more. No. Yeah. I did it, but it shouldn't affect how you view me as a person or as a football player, but I did it. 
And I think maybe the NFL might have been a little bit more gentle on him if he came out and said it from the beginning instead of them having to investigate, exactly. find these yeah. text messages that he said. If he just came out and immediately and said, yes, I did it, I realized I was wrong, it won't happen again, mm -hmm. I will take my but consequences. for the power of lying, Adrian Peterson abused, allegedly, abused his child and wife and was only suspended two games. Tom Brady lied wow. and was suspended four games. A million dollar, uh, he owes a fine yeah. a million dollars. So that shows everyone the power of lying. Yeah. Well, Tom Brady, he's not going anywhere because this is going to keep going. Yeah. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more of the chat because that's just how we roll. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the chat. I'm Joe Rack. I'm Kathleen Jackerman. I'm Pat Mulrain. I'm James Coffey. Here we are, back, yeah. ready for more hot topics. How about this, everybody? Texas college prince, uh, administrator is in hot water right now because during the graduation ceremony, she accidentally skipped over the valedictorian talking, okay, and then people started to get mad about it. They left, and out of nowhere, the lady got up on the mic, and, and I quote her, stating, of course all the black people are leaving. Now, after saying this, she got in trouble, uh, like who wouldn't? But she also went on the news and said that she's a Christian woman, she wants God to forgive her, she prayed about it, she thinks God forgave her, and she said like the devil was inside of her when she was talking about this. I, I don't know what kind of mindset this lady's in, yeah. but she doesn't seem fit enough to run a college. But what do you all think about this? She doesn't seem very stable, <laughs> no, in my not at opinion. All. I think it's a terrible comment. What, yeah, yeah what a I think, rude I, comment. I don't think there's any... I think now that it's happened and she's seen the feedback and like all of like the reaction from it, now she's all like, I'm yeah. so sorry, I'm so sorry. Let me sorry. find an excuse exactly. as to why exactly. I said it. But when, yeah. that, when that was happening, she meant it. And I, she think was, she's still, oh, yeah. I think well, she still was like, when she said, said it, yeah. when, when she said, um, when she skipped over the valedictorian speech, did the valedictorian try to get up and try to make the speech be like, hey, you skipped over I don't, I, I think or so. I would think so. Or, like, you know, in, in graduation, there's like a program. Right. You, yeah. you follow what's in the program. I guess they skipped over it. I don't right. know how they could do that, but they did. And then, so you know, when people get angry, their inner, their true Demons. color show. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. So I think this is what this lady was feeling, yeah. and now she's covering it, her My tracks. question is, why, why did the people leave? I mean, I'm sure they skipped to the valedictorian speech, I'm but if nobody made a big deal about it, then I'm why would they like get mad at me? I'm thinking like maybe the graduation was over yeah. and people started to leave and then someone must have said, you missed her speech. Probably. And then people just kept going because, right. uh, well, it doesn't affect me. I already got my diploma. And that's when she started to say it. Maybe like some people started to come back and Good some point. people started to leave. I don't know yeah. how black, like the African American yeah, community yeah. it has, has, it's up, it's has just this the situation. Some, it's just exactly. the ignorance of some people having that kind of mindset where it's, it's just, just like, oh, of course they would leave. It's pure ignorance. Oh, it's yeah. absolutely like 100% pure ignorance. But if you turn on the news, <laughs> <laughs> everything nowadays is about something like this. So yeah. I don't know why. Baltimore problems. Even if that's what you yeah. feel inside, it, I don't know. I guess it's, we it's all It's a very touchy subject. In yeah. the world. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> was she fired from her job, do you know? She was suspended. Oh, so suspended. Okay. Well, that seems reasonable. Yeah. That seems reasonable. You can't lose it's your Texas. job because for losing. It is Texas. Hey, everything Texas. goes on in Texas. <laughs> Paula for, but, Dean lost her job for it. Yeah, she's I she love Paula Dean. She's from Texas. I think she was in Great I don't know, but, but is still. she really still, uh, hurting from that? Paula Dean's made so much money with yeah, that. It's like the Tom Brady deflate gate with getting suspended, except... She's, she lost her job, but she has so much money, she doesn't care. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? I don't know, it's just sad. Well, this lady's a college yeah. administrator. She's racist. Um, yeah. She's not. Yeah, Paula Dean, that's all she's I can think She's setting an example for her students, and I don't think that's good. It's not a good example. I don't think yeah. so either. Especially what was that? Well, we talked about a few weeks ago that Oklahoma, the, the, the university, remember they made yeah, the, yeah. the racist, the racist chant, chant on the bus, and then yeah. the administrator uh, said, oh, I don't think this is wrong, and then she came out and did the same thing. See, why, if you're older, isn't there supposed to be a little more common sense? I don't know. And even Especially, if there is a little bit more common sense, <laughs> learn to bite your tongue a bit. Exactly. If you, if, yeah. you, if you feel that way, there is a time and a place to speak. Absolutely. But then again, nowadays, we don't know what is being recorded and what is not like that, um, that basketball coach that was fired from his job because right. of what he For, said in his own home. That's all. Right. Uh, Donald, Donald Sterling. Oh, Donald Sterling. That Donald, was last Donald year. Donald Sterling. He was a uh, coach. Well, of, he was having an affair with his wife. I don't know. That is just some everything's reason, messy. Every, when one thing happens, there's a whole line of things that happen. Yeah. All right. So now let's move on. Uh, did you hear about this, everyone? According to a new survey of people, they want Harriet Tubman to be featured on the twenty dollar bill instead of Andrew Jackson. And I mean, they feel no. that a woman mm -hmm. should be on. Some trooper money. Now, some of the other people that were up for the candidate was Eleanor Roosevelt, 
Rosa Parks and Harriet Tubman. People voted online, I guess. I must have missed wow. the poll. Yeah. And they wanted they want Harriet Tubman. And on, I think it was the WashingtonPost.com, they showed a dub picture. I don't have it on me. But of what it would look like. And oh. I, I don't and agree you, with that. No, you um, cut me off because you thought I was going to go into the whole woman thing. No. <laughs> no. No, um, I, no I'm, I, I like Andrew uh, Jackson. He's, one, he's my favorite president, so I <laughs> think that, no, he shouldn't be taken off. <laughs> But I, I think president. I could see why they want they would want a woman on there. I can see too. Uh, I can see why, but especially with like woman empowerment now. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that they should remove someone from a bill. Maybe you know. Maybe create. Benjamin Franklin, <laughs> because he's not really a president. The, all of them that were yeah that are on the bills are all presidents. I mean, but Harriet wasn't a president. I mean, yeah, but I was thinking her closest was Eleanor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I like yeah. Eleanor. I don't, know, I, I don't know who took this vote, but I guess yeah. I mean I respect Andrew Jackson for the president that he was, but. He was a really destructive man. But there's a but lot. But that's not why they're doing it. The reason why they're doing it is because I, I don't they actually I don't know why they're doing but, it. But they just want a change. Everything's yeah, changed see, nowadays. Why, is why they're doing it? Why Andrew why Jackson? Why the twenty dollar book? I don't Grant, know why the twenty. Why I just can't get used to that because I work at Shoprite. Shout out to Shoprite. And I can't see uh, putting the money away like right even where you were. I can't yeah. say that like you know Washington and Lincoln. It's just something that's been on there for forever. Yeah. I, I don't yeah, get it. I, mean, I don't. Maybe what I do don't, you think about it? Do you think that they should do this? James, no, I do think, you think so? I think I definitely think that like Eleanor Roosevelt or someone should get credit. Um, maybe creating like a new like a two dollar bill or something maybe else. Maybe Five hundred dollar bill. <laughs> yeah, something new, and then yeah. put them on. I don't think that it should be taken away from someone. Why? Why? And how are you gonna choose which person gets taken off what what bill? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I does. Doesn't this cost a lot of money? Or maybe like another... Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do they care? We don't no. care. No. Eh. Whatever. <laughs> but what if it was on like a um, a coin? If they just uh, change it to the coin? Yeah. Because there are I don't ones. think they would ever do that. But who, who's... We well, got Abe Lincoln on the coin, Thomas yep. Jefferson. Yep. I mean... Yep. I, I don't know. I guess they're basing it off like, I guess, how much... I mean, they voted on... Who was the po more popular woman? And the public like, voted? The public voted. Oh, it was well, an online poll. I think they should... Uh, they I would have voted for Eleanor. Eleanor. Yeah, agreed. I think they should decide on who should be changed if they're changing and not creating another bill like how James said. I would have voted yeah. for Rosa Parks. But they all did fantastic things. Like Rosa Parks, you know, you know, she didn't give up her seat on the bus. We know Harry uh, Tubman did the whole Underground Railroad thing. So I don't know how we could judge that and then say, well, you know what? One did better than the other, and now we're putting, whoa, <laughs> and now we're putting uh, them on the dollar bill. I don't understand. Yeah. I don't yeah. get it. I don't understand this. I but I don't think they'd ever touch the dollar bill. No. 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 I think this how? whole thing is just a waste of time. Yeah. And, and money. <laughs> I agree. And money. And money. Waste of time like and you money. Said, it takes a lot of money. Time is money. Time is money. Yeah. Money, 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 money. All right. Money. <laughs> Can't just do that. All right, that's it. That's all we got for. <laughs> that is it. All right, everyone. Well, stay tuned because we're going to go. And when we come back, we have Coach John Truhan coming on with us. So stay tuned, everybody. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the chat. Joining us now is our guest, Coach John Truhan, who's the Central Regional Girls Varsity Basketball Coach. It's so nice to have you here. Thank you for coming you so on much. with us. Thank you. Nice to be Thanks here. Thanks for having me. Thank you. And thank you for the free coffee. Yes. Thank yes. you. Yes. Despite what anyone says, there is something coffee. in here. Yes. Cheers yes. to that, yes. everyone. Thank you. Okay. Cheers to coffee. <laughs> yeah. Cheers coffee. to coffee. Coffee. All right. Ah. Well, it's so... <laughs> okay. Well, it's so nice to have you here. Thank you so much for coming on with us. So, first off, starting off, what is it like being a coach here at Central Regional? Uh, it's, it's a great experience. First of all, I'm a mathematics teacher that just happens to coach. And um, you're always a teacher first, and coaching is more like a hobby. But yeah. I was hired here as a mathematics teacher, and um, that's where you really do your teaching. And it, it overlaps into coaching, but coaching is a reflection of teaching. A reflection of teaching. But I am a teacher first that just so happens to coach. and. Uh, uh, it's been great so far these six years. Now, how, how long have you been here as a teacher, and then how long have you been coaching? Uh, I've been here at Central six years. I've been coaching for, I mean, since I started teaching 21 years ago. Oh, so wow. So I've coached in uh, Tom's River South uh, for a little while, and then Colts Neck before I came here. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, now, what do you have a favorite coaching moment of any, <laughs> uh, there, if you can choose one? There's been a lot of great moments, but this year the moment had to be when Caitlin Custer got her 1,000 point, and um, an even better moment was when she officially signed at Mount St. Mary's and is going to college for free, 
uh, on a full oh, wow. ride Good basketball scholarship. Yeah, so. awesome. And she was the third, what was it? You said the third it's, person to do that in Central's history? She's the, the, the sixth, but the she's sixth. the third all time leading scorer right wow. now. Yeah. Good right. for her. Yeah, she's right. tremendous. And she's worked so hard and she, she's deserved that. I met her when the summer between her seventh grade and uh, seventh and eighth grade when I first got here. And uh, she came to some of our workouts in the summer. And my, me and my assistant coach, Chris Hoffman, back then said, you know, who's this kid? We can't wait to coach her. But she was only coming off her seventh grade, out of seventh grade. And you just knew that she had the it quality uh, right. when you saw her back then. So Yeah, yeah well, she's a thousand points. Talented. That's uh, doesn't happen a lot around here. No, <laughs> only six in the history of the school. And um, That's crazy. it's a credit to her. She's yeah. tremendous. It's been an honor to coach her. Yeah. yeah. If you're watching, Caitlin, your biggest fan right here. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Now, uh, a little while ago, you were inducted into the Hall of Fame, right? Yes, Coaching? into the correct? New Jersey State Hall of Fame. All that means is that I'm old. And, uh, <laughs> I've, I've just been fortunate enough to win um, more games than I've lost. And uh, the reflection is I called my former players in Tom's River and in Cold Snake and the ones that have graduated Central to thank them because that award's not me. It's, it's them. They're the ones yeah. that make shots, and they go to practice every day. And I couldn't okay. be more proud of them because that achievement is a reflection of them. Now, did you know you were getting the award, or was it like a surprise? Was uh, there any, uh, anyone uh, in January? In January, I was fortunate enough to uh, reach a coaching milestone uh, with uh, 300 wins, and the state saw it in the newspaper, and they said, um, they called the school and said, we would like to induct him into the State Hall of Fame. And uh, I just responded, yes, absolutely, right. and uh, that was yeah. it. You know, it was nominated by the state, which is even an incredible honor. To, to know that the NJSAA does so many different things and for them to notice something like that is a very humbling yeah. experience. And uh, you're obviously very good at what you do. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I, have good I have good players. I've been blessed with very good players. Right. Yeah. Now, um, just before we were discussing the Tom Brady incident, the Flategate, oh, the everyone Flategate, calls yeah. it. Um, so what, do you, what is your opinion on this? Uh, do you think that it's just bad sportsmanship? Do you, you know, I mean, he is being fined and everything. I agree, he should be fine, but I, I'm a Miami Dolphins fan, so I, gotta, I can't really <laughs> so this is say what I want to say. This is very good for, as a Dolphins fan, but I think this is a result of them not doing anything during that Spygate. Remember the Spygate in 2002 yeah. during the Super Bowl? Yeah. Yeah. They were accused of filming the other teams and scouting them. You know, That's two not times supposed in a row. To do that. Yeah. Yes. So this is kind of like, all right, enough is enough. Let's set, let's set some kind of precedence here that you know, we're not going to take this. The Patriots don't run the league. Uh, even though they're very good, and I mean, he's one of, if not the best po uh, coach on the planet, Belichick. Mm -hmm. And Tom Brady is the poster boy that everybody recognized. And yeah. by disciplining him, I mean, four games, you know, that may be a little harsh. Well, but I would say he is like the face of the NFL. Him and the Manning brothers, they really are. When I think yeah. of the yes. NFL, I don't watch yeah. it that much. But when I do, or when mm -hmm. I think of it, I think of him and the Manning brothers yeah. as the face. So I think something should be taken away from him, maybe, that more than a million dollars and four games. I don't really think that's affecting him at all. I don't think it's affecting him anyway. He yeah. doesn't, I don't think his image will be tarnished. And as a, a punishment that the four games, they're gonna wait to get their rings until game five. They just announced that, right. I think, a couple of days ago. So, uh, you know, the punishment is there, but it's not really gonna affect mm -hmm. him. I, un I understand what you're saying. Now, of course, this is all alleged, but, you know, uh, <laughs> Now, if this ever happened in our school, not saying it has, but if it ever happened in our school and you were the coach, what would you do? In football or? No, in, ba in basketball well, or if volleyball. Well, if we deflated or, the basketballs, uh, I I'd probably Let's say be, Tom Brady was one of your <laughs> players. Let's say he didn't play football. Let's say he played basketball. It's a whatever. Well, that's or a, something like that's that. That's a question what, what that was asked, and Belichick said that he had no idea. Now, I have, you know, that's tough. Every quarterback, the, the amazing thing is the quarterbacks have their own allegiance in the NFL, right. and not many have spoken out, if you notice. There hasn't yes, been many. Yes, it's been very spoken. quiet on both ends. It's been very ends. quiet. They have their own little cult, and they maybe they do things that, you know, everybody wants to get an advantage, like certain wide receivers, like Jerry Rice, Jerry Rice the all-time yeah. wide receiver. He, he admitted that he put Stickum yeah, on his hands on his, on his to help gloves. him catch footballs. So everybody has done a little thing. So I'm sure other quarterbacks have done something to try and get an advantage. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I don't know. To be in that situation, you wouldn't know unless you were there. I, right. Yeah. I wouldn't know. Um, now, and you, you said your favorite moment was when uh, Caitlin Custard scored the thousand shot. Now, yeah, did you coach year. any other uh, kids that did the thousand shots? Yes, uh, Rachel Iosia did that two years ago, who mm -hmm. also she is going to St. Francis on a full basketball scholarship. Yeah. Wow. Also, so she I is. I remember when she did that. Yeah, I remember yeah. that too. She's fourth all time leading scorer. Uh, 
Caitlin passed her by four points, I believe. Oh, wow. Uh, they nice. Four or seven very points, nice. something like that, I think. So they're very close. And to have those two on the team um, really establishes your program because yeah. they really were committed to, uh, to everything that we did, our philosophies. We're all on the same page. But it's the, the seniors like Adriana DeJesus and Jackie Babinski, you don't want to take anything away from them. Just because they didn't score that yeah, many it points, mean right. anything less they were player, as right. valuable as anybody else on the exactly. team. Those, and I'll miss those seniors also. Yeah, yeah that's right. What are you going to do without all these uh, senior girls, huh? Well, you can't rebuild. You have to reload. I guess yeah. so that's what right. we're trying to do. Yeah. Now you're also the assistant volleyball coach. I just want to mention really quick. Yep. Um, how, how long have you been doing that? I've been doing that with uh, Mr. Mango for three years. Three years now. Three years. So. Yeah. And um, it looks like we're going to win the division this year. Oh, wow. uh, Congratulations. We won it my first yeah. year, and again, I just have the best seat in the house. They, they, <laughs> they do everything, so it's, uh, you know, Coach Mangold is one of, if not the best coaches in the building, in my philosophy, because he doesn't have that feeder program in volleyball. Nobody really plays volleyball until they come to Central. You know, you're out on the beach, that right. doesn't count. Right. Yeah. Or even gym class really doesn't you, you, count. Compared yeah, it to what doesn't he does. show the so competition. He has done a phenomenal job to get, you know, both the boys and girls programs where it's at right now. Right. Yeah, nice. he's one of my hockey coaches, Mr. Mango. He's just, he's a great coach. Uh, he's just yeah. a great human being, great yeah. guy, yeah. great friend. I yes. don't even have him as a guidance counselor. And one day I went into guidance and he was there and we were shooting the breeze for 30 minutes. I was like, I gotta get to class. I was like, I know, you know, right. he was just shooting. He's a really cool guy. Real nice guy. But yeah. um, now before we close, is there anything, any advice you'd give to anyone who wants to play, girls that want to play basketball in the near future, or anyone, or any sport, volleyball, or oh, well, as a coach's point of view? In basketball, your season's from like Thanksgiving to St. Patrick's Day. So most players don't improve from Thanksgiving to St. Patrick's Day they improve from St. Patrick's Day to Thanksgiving. So yes. work, work on your game when nobody's watching and you will be rewarded. Yeah. I think that's what I think. I think that's great advice. That's, that's season's really never good advice, over. yeah. The season's never over. No, <laughs> basketball, it's always basketball season. You encourage yeah. everyone yeah. to yes. practice, right? Always. Yes. Uh. But, you know, I really appreciate being on. I'm very humbled by this. Thank you so much. Well, it was so much. nice Thank to you. have so you nice here. Having you Thank you. Our thanks to Coach John Truhan. Um, it was so nice having you. This was really yeah, fantastic. Was so Thank you. we will be right back because that's the chat. That's what we do. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the chat. Pat, it's nice having you here, buddy. I love yeah. being good. It's really fun. <laughs> All right, well, uh, thanks to Coach Truham for coming on with us. He was just here. From the sublime to the crazy, uh -huh. uh, start the tears. American Idol is ending oh, next God. year after 15 seasons wow. on, on Fox. Uh, so I'm they're ending this sad. season in May, or this May, June, and then they'll be back in January, one last season, and that's that. Yeah. I think American Idol really, like, started it was the base for all these shows yeah. i watch it, the voice every now and then i don't think it's as good as i mean America, if you look at the was. comparisons like american idol a good handful of people have gotten big from it right yeah uh america's got talent that, no one. not no one but uh, they have all these shows like it all spawned yeah. from exactly. america's got uh, american, american idol. idol and then they all say well like oh well it's different because this one's all about talent or it's different yeah. this one's all about dancing oh this one's different it's like <laughs> i saw a funny thing someone said they should make a new show called so you think you can whistle <laughs> i mean it's, it's like there's no fresh ideas there like is, this yeah. is the yeah, you had, I mean, had our, dancing with the stars is like almost the same oh, yeah i love dancing with the yeah, stars Joe's a big i like dancing with the stars Me too, too. Uh, paul Duel had like uh, a dance show I think it was out for like three days. <laughs> what? And it was canceled. Paula Abdul had the a dance show. The judges on Dancing with the Stars had a dance show. It was called Bruno versus Carrie Ann. <laughs> and they had like, it was them two and they found contestants to, to dance. I didn't even get it. It was canceled after the first season. Yeah. I mean, they just make random stuff up. I don't know. Yeah. And I think the only other group I've heard of getting famous from a uh, like show like that is One Direction. Yeah. 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 They got from America yeah. Idol specifically, yeah. uh, it's like Kelly Clarkson, the main people. I mean, there yeah. are some people yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Kelly Clarkson, I would say Philip Phillips, Carrie Underwood. Carrie Underwood's probably the biggest out of all of them. Yeah. yeah. Kelly Clarkson. I Daughtry, think Daughtry, 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 Daughtry. Uh, Pick, Pick, Pickler, Pickler was all right. Pickler and maybe Ruben, if people, and Clay. And That's about it. I don't, yeah. I can't remember the other people. Jordan Sparks had like a couple. Of <gasps> oh, Jordan Sparks. Jordan. See, but it's one of the, yeah. Yeah, but yeah, but that's she, not a name that slips off the tongue. Adam Lambert. Adam Lambert. Sorry. No, but. No, but Jordan Sparks. Do you think of her now because of Con? She was with Kanye, or no? She was she, with the she was with one of them, Jason yeah. Derulo. Yeah, she was with right. him for a while. Yeah, yeah they yeah, were they engaged like or something. Or something together. If but, any of you are watching, this is but she. <laughs> this she is had, pop she culture like, one hundred and one. Yeah, she had like her one album, and then she was done. Jordan. Wow. Yeah, she didn't last a while. She had that song I'm, tattoo. I think. Yeah. 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 And uh, no air. Yeah, no uh, air. Classic. Yeah. But um, I think it's Chris Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think um, a big thing with American Idol, like you were saying before, I miss the original crew. Randy, yeah. Yeah. Paula, Paula, Simon. Simon. I think 
that's what the judge, the inconsistent amount of judges that they've had. And yeah. Ryan. Ryan never I love Ryan. He's been there for a while. Somebody to fill yeah. Simon Cowell's shoes. No, me. He was. <laughs> He would yes. Do yes. I have been wanting to be on American Idol. But you, know, be a great but you know who's a good judge? Is Howard Stern on, on American Idol. I do not oh, like that yeah. guy. But he's a good judge. Oh, I yeah. love he him. can yeah. judge. Yeah. Yeah. I love Howard Stern. Yeah. Yeah, I think that there's just, I mean, what how many judges have there been on American Idol? Eight? A That's, ton. Yeah, yeah there's been so many. So many. Yeah. I think in, just, in the beginning, correct me if I'm wrong, in the beginning of American Idol, they really focused on the terrible people. And, and they, they had Simon, they yeah, really and they had did. Simon, and they had Paula argue back and forth, and yeah. that was and one of the big things the relationship. Pants yeah. on the ground, yeah. Yoda. Yeah. Pants on the ground. Yeah, they had yeah. all those, but nowadays they're really focused on more of the better acts, and they like show clips of the Chinese terrible guy, people. Yeah, yeah, they really got yeah. rid of all of the comedy. And I in think it. that's and where I, like people really liked yeah. because watching a person. Audition coming, week was yeah. the best. Yeah, it was. That's what I tuned in for. After that, you would watch and be like, okay, now it's time to get serious and watch like people rise. Like your favorite, who you would vote for. My cousin. But, uh, tried out for American Idol, yeah. and there's this whole long process. She made it. There's like five judges booths before you get to the actual judges. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's like a day, like a whole day experience. Yeah. She made it to like booth number three, and then they they cut her. But apparently, like, and we know this as much as they all deny it, it is selective. They do of select course. the best, the worst oh, yeah. on purpose how does for cameras. People, yeah. yeah. Like I said, like, yeah. how do some people get up there? Who are that terrible? Where Simon can rip them apart. Exactly. Which yeah. The but they always look Which for that. Which is the best. <laughs> they still find talent, and they give. I think it's good that they give these people a chance for talent. Yeah. And yeah. They give these people a chance at like a quick opportunity to be a. Yeah. A star. But now with all these other competition shows, like yeah. America, everyone gets to be a star. Hell, we're yeah. stars. There's so, so many. Yeah. 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 We're not even on a talent show. We're stars. Yep. Um, now before we before we close, um, the, since this is like our last show. Uh, just want to announce that late night host David Letterman is retiring on May 20th will be his last show on CBS. Yeah. Uh, he's been on the network, I think, for about 23 years. And so that, that's a shame. I like David Letterman. Yeah, but I like David Letterman. I yeah. think... I'm never a big fan of him. No? No. I like him because he seems like he has so much fun on his show. Yeah. Well, yeah. Everybody loves him when they go on there. He has so much fun. He interacts so well with his, his, his guests that he brings on. Yeah. It's just a fun time to watch him well, be normal. Well, the young crowd is seeping in. You got the yeah. Jimmys, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy yeah. Kimmel. Especially you got Jimmy Fallon. James yeah. Corden. Yeah. I just discovered him. He's on the Late Late Show. If you're yeah. up that late, till he's on like 1230 yeah. to 1.30. Yeah, He's pretty funny. Yeah. Seth Meyers. Yeah. Seth Meyers, yeah. I just watched um, a David Letterman interview with Courtney Love, Cor uh, Kurt Cobain's uh, right. ex-wife. Yes. And uh, that was a really interesting thing because I, I'm straying. I'm kind of going into pop culture That's again. Okay. Right, right. Um, a new Kurt Cobain documentary just came out. And it's, it's called like Kurt Cobain now. Montage of Heck. It's uh, directed she by Brett Morgan. And <laughs> yeah. it is a phenomenal documentary. It's HBO. I recommend we it to all of you. Okay. Definitely... Um, Really interesting to like deep in, like dig deep into was like the mind of Was she on David Letterman Band. recently? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it, the yeah his uh, last show is coming up. The documentary yeah. just came mm -hmm. out, so they wanted to have Courtney on to like mm -hmm. advertise. I like that he's so he's opinionated, David Letterman. He says he's one of those people that gets on camera and he says his opinion. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 that's one thing yeah. I do like about him. But other than that, you know, I, right. I don't really watch the show. No, often. I mean he's once in a while. He has someone good on, but. I saw the clip when Chris Christie was on, and he pulled out a donut on the air because I guess they, David Letterman made fun him. of him a lot. I, I watched him a couple of times. The last time I watched him was when Nicole Wallace was on from The View. Oh, okay. That's the last time I watched I could see you as a like, late night talk show. More of a daytime guy. Uh, yeah, he's I would, a daytime. I would shoot for the daytime, yeah. Yeah, yeah. see, I would Or like love... something like the chat. Yeah, yeah see, no. This is daytime. Personally, like I, would love, like, I love this and the whole daytime thing, but I would love to host a late, late night talk I show. I feel like a late night talk show, you have to like create, like, you have to like meet that certain like standard yeah. of like comedy. And, yes. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like, like, I, like I would yeah. so much rather be in the day where I can like, babble whatever yeah, I want, yeah, hot yeah. topics yeah. and bash other celebrities. <laughs> right. And be it's able the to chat. Say, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. us. That's we See, babble like, on. And we, like, yeah. What the heck? Definitely, like late night, you need to have a certain like level of comedy. Like Jimmy Fallon, he was on yeah, SNL. He was very yes. good. Still yeah, very like, good. Yeah. Still, you definitely have to be like SNL level. Sadly, that yeah. old phrase is coming back out with the old and in with the new. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. It's I, mean, I think the, David Letterman has definitely earned his name. He's I, oh, I would consider yeah. him an icon. He is. Oh, well, he's yeah. been yeah. a broadcasting. They said thirty-three years. He's just been on CBS on this show for twenty-two. Yeah. He's built up his resume and he's done a great job. I think. He'll right. retire, he'll move somewhere, yeah. and maybe we'll hear from yeah, one day. Yeah, tons who's, of money. Who's the late night talk show? The guy with the really big 
chin. Conan, Conan O'Brien. He's I on TBS. Him. Yeah. As long as Conan doesn't go I like away, Conan. I will be yeah. okay. You like him? I love Conan. Like he's so he's funny. pretty funny. He's he rubs funny. me the wrong way. I like Conan and I like Jimmy Fallon. I do Jimmy like Fallon. Jay Fallon. 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 Yeah, great. I love again, him. But yeah, Justin Timberlake coming around all the time and it just makes it a whole lot. Because that was the sketches oh, yeah, you were waiting for. Hilarious. Yeah. Right. In Saturday Night Live, just That's to watch right. Jimmy Fallon and Justin Timberlake do the the Barry Gibbs talk show. Every time he has like an older person on. They're like, we're coming on, but we're not playing no games. We're not jumping up and down. He yeah. wants to, like, them to jump oh, all yeah. over the room. <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. My favorite is when uh, he had Melissa McCarthy on and they played, like, What's in the Box. <laughs> oh, I love that. That was really funny. Oh, I love the that What's in the Box. Episode. I like when he does the uh, the moving of the mouths. He puts the mouth on the other person oh, and with then the, he talks with yeah. them. Who's the girl from Modern Family? The woman from Modern Family? Sophia Vega. Yeah, they, Vigera, when they did Vigera. that together, it was My so favorite, funny. I lo- his Wish she was on with us. His thank you Yeah. His thank you cards cracked me up, and my favorite one that he's ever thank done you was yeah. the, was the like, one of his last episodes before Easter. And it was, thank you to all the people that attend church only the Easter Sunday. <laughs> but so glad true. you're keeping the religion in your life. Yeah. No, I like, I was, like you ever saw the hashtag? Yeah, hashtag is funny. Oh, the hashtag. Oh, the yeah. hashtag. Yeah. So he finds the funny things online, yeah. the funny snapshots. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Well, see, someone like David Letterman was the pioneer for this. So we're glad yeah. we can yeah, watch we can all these other on, guys on do it. Yeah. He had so, his song, Jimmy Fallon, that was funny. Yeah. Yeah. My dad was on the Jimmy Fallon show, he was in the audience, and Jimmy Fallon and Jake Gyllenhaal were singing some song, and they actually came out and they were rolling all over my dad, and my dad was like, oh, okay, and oh they put God. it on air. That's and insane. He was on for, on for 10 minutes, and they were just like, they were in his ear singing about some Sarah Palin yeah. thing. And they're like just singing in his ear. That's my dad's like, crazy. oh my God. But and, that, yeah, he takes a lot of that from his Saturday Night Live uh, experience. Yes. And yeah. like that. I like talk shows that interact with their audience. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. The, they're yeah. The pe- we're there to yeah, support the people them. That make we're there to the you tickets. Are. We want to be yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Like our studio Ex- audience coming up for the live show. Just yes, to throw that in. Just gonna we'll say be that. interactive. We'll be interactive yeah. with them. Yeah. So make sure you all come and see the chat live. It's coming up this May. Make sure you check our Facebook, Twitter, if you're on there, uh, for more details and the time and everything, which is coming up soon. Yeah. Uh, I know we're gonna. I think we're shooting to have our uh, superintendent of the school, Dr. Carla Panides, on with us. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have a, a look back at the past season. Uh, I, there's gonna be some surprises. I don't know what yet, but there will be some surprises mm-hmm. and a whole bunch of fun. So let's close. Yep. I'm Joe Rack. I'm Kathleen Junkerman. I'm Pat Mulrain. I'm James Coffey. Pat. Thank you so much for coming on with us. We hope to see you at the live co-host. show. I'm right here. Thank you. Jeff. You better talk to yeah. Alexa. You better you talk to her. You have another year here. Yeah, this is my new seat. <laughs> He's not moving from that chair. And hey, this is the last time we'll be in here. So everybody, have a great day. Thank you for tuning in and keep chatting for us. We'll see you next time. This is the ice cold Michelle fight for that white gold. This one for them hood girls, them good girls, straight masterpieces. Styling, wildin', living it up in the city. Got chucks.